This is Homage to Chopin by William Gillick. The right hand starts in this hand position so that I can cover the notes of the opening. And that repeats. And then you see there's a shift. The four now moves to the C because I need to be able to reach these notes. Notice that little line tells you the melody goes down to the left hand. Continues, notice the thumb moves over. So it pretty much repeats. Now look again. The three hits the B flat. The melody goes down to the left hand. And we're back to that original hand position. Left hand continues with the melody. That's the first page. Left hand, you've got this descending bass line. to the F and the G. What an interesting sound. Then he does it again. Instead of playing this G, he goes down an octave. Moves down again. This time he continues down all the way to the D. Take that bass line and play it with the melody. Because then you'll notice that the notes that I haven't played in the left hand basically are B flat and D. See? And then changes, same two notes. Gillick is good at this. Here he changes the two notes, but then he goes back to the two notes, and then you have this part that you've worked on. Even here, he's still using the B flat. it change, changes key. It goes from G minor to B flat. Very short though, because back to B flat, G minor. Back to G minor. He only have visits for two measures. When he gets back to 
to the next section, it's just like the beginning, except he has chords here. That's an E sharp. It's enharmonic to F natural. Get this final chord. Notice that the outer notes are G's. For the middle section, practice going from this chord, which is an F dominant seventh, to this chord, the second inversion B flat major chord. And then from here, a D dominant seventh to a G minor chord. The second time it goes to the second inversion. So you can play around with these chords. And then practice going from the bass line to the chord. Also practice going from the chord to the next note. That would be from the seventh to the B flat, and then maybe from this chord to the G, and this G chord to the D. So you're practicing both motions, the up and the down motion. Again, when you're working on this part, you just play the bass line. 